Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets, break them down to bite-sized pieces. So today, welcome back. We're going to do a little bit more of uh, Trinity Trading. Uh, we've got uh, Weston Nelson. He's the head of business development over there at Trade the Chain. We've got CJ with uh, Market Rebellion. And uh, each, and of course myself, each person has their own function. And we're going to use a uh, tertiary method. So it'll be, uh, of course, Weston using Trade the Chain or sentiment analysis where they use a, uh, a device or a machinery which crawls the entire internet, all the blog posts, all the big uh, it, it exchanges, websites, and also is one of only four cryptocurrency companies that has a direct API into Twitter to disseminate uh, billions and billions of tweets to give us a fantastic sentiment analysis. And CJ is our our uh, expert over here at technical analysis from Market Rebellion, learned from some of the best, uh, the Nigerians, and he's going to give us a, a, a TA uh, standpoint. And then if it gets through through Weston and CJ, then it comes to me, fundamental analysis. We'll take a look and see if we'll invest. So gentlemen, what do we got today? What can we look at? All right, let's uh, pull up the Trade Exchange dashboard here. Make sure you guys can see. Are you able to see uh, everything good? Uh, we're seeing a nice, fully... beautiful green screen. Yeah. <laughs> I can pull mine How about up. now. Yes. Good now. Good now. Okay, perfect. So, um, and again, <laughs> I, I chuckled, Rob, as you, you described the machine of uh, Trade the Chain. Yes. It's, uh, so, just to simplify it, because we have been getting a lot of questions about, like, you know, what what is trade the chain? How are you doing this sentiment analysis? Um, it's it's a form of data science, NLP, natural language processing, which scrapes the web um, to basically take all the text and then determine a sentiment, which is you know quantifying it for using um, in trading. So um, in a nutshell, that's it. And then we have a community as well, which is extremely helpful to help people understand how to use that to profitably trade. Um, so um, the coins page is where you're going to do most of your, your research. Um, but if we're looking to make a pick right now, again, I, I like to start with the one hour range. Um, and looks like we got a few, a few couple contenders, but um, if I go with loop ring right here, LRC, looking at a positive mean over the next hour of 2.33. Trading volume is up, tweet volume is up, and we're down the last hour, so probably a good entry point. Um, gotcha. Point. So, so Weston, real quick, tell us about that, the one hour projected range, because that's what, I, I get those questions a lot too. What is the one on the red in the middle and the one on the right as far as uh, ranges go? Yeah, so, um, and if you notice too, it just actually went up, uh, which is good. So. The ranges, um, those are the projected ranges that the, the machine or, you know, our system is spitting out based on all the inputs um, over the next hour on a rolling basis. Every five minutes it updates. It's projecting uh, negative. So for loop ring, negative 0.275% on the low end. And uh, what is that? 7.86% with a mean of positive 2.55%. So I like that it's leaning towards, the mean is leaning towards, you know, uh, positive 2.55. Um, and that's with 90% confidence intervals from all the data. So basically it's likely to stay within that range, but it, it, it's very well possible to go out of it on the negative or the upside. So 90% of the time the answer. it's gonna be plus 2%. Is that what we're looking at over the next hour? Um, it will be within that range. Okay. The mean, the most, the mean of the likely outcomes is the 2.55. Perfect. So this is why we need CJ. So CJ, tell us about the technicals. Because one part's looking good. Let's see if we can get the second part. Yeah, let's take a look. Um, there we are. So we're looking at this, we're looking at loop ring USD pair on a couple different time frames here. And looking at it before the show, uh, it was actually breaking out um, a couple hours ago when we first decided that we wanted to take a look at this asset. And uh, if I go into the hourly chart here, 
um, from a much shorter term time frame, uh, you can see that each time we reach this nine, or when we reach these nines collectively, they have a, a general warning sign, and they're telling us from a bullish perspective, uh, the theory at least, to take profit, or at least be cautious, because we're probably going to get a correction of some kind. And that's exactly what we saw here. Um, in the last two hours, we got a green nine on the hourly chart, and then immediately dumped right after. Uh, now, uh, we're forming support at around 45 cents. So I really like the 45 cent base level as support. Um, now, if we look at uh, maybe some longer time frames on the daily term time frame, you can see we have kind of a, a ascending triangle um, forming here on the daily time frame. And if you're not, uh, if you have not heard what an ascending triangle is before, um, essentially it is a series of higher lows that are rejected by one resistance level. And in this case, the resistance level would be about 47 cents. So my favorite way to enter long trades in bullish uptrends like this is to buy on a breakout above the prior swing high. So in that case, that prior swing high would be at about 48 cents. So I'm gonna look to enter at a price of 48 cents with bullish momentum. Now that could, you know, take a couple hours because we just came down from the recent sequential nine on the one hour. Um, but if we get a price flip to a green one in the next couple hours, I will definitely be looking to enter at about 48 cents. Um, so interesting stuff. And I'm, I, I think the fundamentals are very strong on this play. Let me just say that I think fundamentals are crucial to entering a trade. I just really believe in using technical analysis to find the optimal entry and exit points for these trade ideas. Okay, perfect. So before we go on, everybody who's watching right now, if you look in the uh, description below, there's going to be links to trade the chain. Uh, you can check out that uh, program. There's a 14-day money-back guarantee. And then with uh, uh, Market Rebellion to learn technical analysis, you can start for a dollar. So whichever you want to do. But we just bring uh, these types of opportunities uh, to look at. We are not financial advisors, but these are the things that we see and uh, could be a big play for us. What you want to do is up to you. So let's take a look at the actual fundamentals. And before I forget, let me share my screen. Weston, I want you to talk to us at some point about how you use Loop Ring to sidestep the ETH prices for swapping for Celsius. That was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they did some big stuff with, uh, I think, I don't know if Alex Machinsky was involved with that, with the ring or somehow, but yeah, uh, happy to do it whenever. Yeah. So, okay. What is Loop Ring? Ethereum roll up protocol? So, okay. So it's a, another layer two scaling solution, which makes a lot of sense. I know, Weck, when you used it, you purchased Celsius. I have actually stopped dollar cost averaging because I can't use Uniswap anymore because the prices are just out it's astronomical. But I think when you used it, there was little to none. So this is already live. This is already going on. I don't think a lot of people know about it. I haven't heard anybody talking about Loopring except for Weston. So this might be like a pretty great play, and especially for Ethereum. Um, transaction throughput can be increased. Transaction costs can be decreased, which we saw. Uh, faster, cheaper, gas fee transactions. Great. So I knew that there was, I know that there was one thing that you use. You can use it on your Android device. Here's the yes. exchange themselves, but I could have sworn that you can use it. Yeah. Let me see something. And you can use it in the web interface, I believe. Um, there might be a difference. Android app. But yeah, so that's what I have. That's what Android app. I used. Android app beta. I don't know if you can use this without Android, unless it's right here. Loop ring swap uh, and exchange. Yeah, on the web though. So this is the activate layer two you were talking about, right? Uh, yes, exactly. Well, this is like the, yeah, the web interface for layer two. Um, and then it, I do think they have an iOS app in development. So like you could use a MetaMask account as opposed to a loop ring wallet um, with it. Well, let me just give everybody my information. <laughs> so I think I can see where we're going here. 
Okay. So once I activate it, I can use it here. What, was, get, the, what was the, what were the fees point. that you use? Uh, the fees were, it was like literally negligible, nothing almost. Um, okay. I just, uh, I, I, I could pull it up, but I mean, it was so small that it, I was like, wow, that was nothing. Um, let's see. I don't see myself. And I just want to clarify, uh, or rather, zero surprise, how great, uh, how great a problem this is currently with Uniswap and other decentralized exchanges. Like Rob said, he wants to buy Celsius, but it's just not worth it with all of these fees. But if there is a system in place which can eliminate that, and it seems as if Weston has has already successfully done it, that could be extremely valuable and solve a very, very large problem right now. Yeah, and not only yeah. that. Because Wes and I asked you because you got it deposited here, and I asked if you could uh, swing it over to your Celsius wallet, which you did. Yeah. Yes, because I also wanted to see. Okay, great transfer, right? That's awesome. Yeah. But can I get it out? So I sent it layer two to straight to layer one Celsius. It worked. Uh, I sent it, and then I went back to layer one. Sent it to um, MetaMask. It worked. Um, I think for the Full effect to, to go in place, Celsius would have to, like a wad at Celsius would have to be on layer two. Um, but at least for now, half, half the problem is solved. You can, you can acquire Celsius on the cheap, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. So later on, we'll do a, a full deep dive into this one. But uh, for right now, it looks good. If the fee is what I'm seeing this correctly, 0.25%. I think it's lower than that, even honestly, um, because you're in layer one still. Oh, look at what it says: price impact. Does that mean? I wonder what that consists of. Is that that's the the, um, the, the market makers? The, the the amount that it would revert if it was more than that. So, like the very low um, price impact is is good. Okay. Hmm. So I'll do this later on what it is right now. But yeah, so that's, it's, a, it's a weird thing. We're talking about just talk, just investing a loop ring. We go down this rabbit hole. So we get like a, a two for one special for everybody. Okay. So then uh, just so everybody knows, every trade that we do, we put it up here at Trinity Trading, which is uh, open to the web. Everybody can take a look at. We've done three so far. Uh, we did Maker. This was on uh, January 6th. Started at 1,081, sold off at 1,620, 50% profit. We did uh, reserve RT on January 8th, uh, and then went 0 0.0475, 15%. Synthetics, eh, not too bad. A paltry, uh, almost 8%, but this was a short-term and a long-term one. I still think synthetics could be a great long-term play like you guys were talking about, but I will add this in after this video for loop ring. Now, the big question is, where do we find loop ring? Because I see it here at Coinbase Pro. I wonder if it's on regular Coinbase. Not my favorite, but what are you going to do? Crypto. I just bought it on Uniswap. A lot of places. With Uniswap, were you able to use, could you, could you use Loopring to buy Loopring? Or use, 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 use Ethereum on, on you, this? I think... I think I just bit the bullet and, and paid the fee. Um, you, you might be able to create a Loopring wallet and transfer Ethereum to buy Loopring. Um, okay. I had to double check on that. So let me just take a peek real quick. But you can for sure buy LRC on Uniswap V2 right now, like no no issues. Uh, yeah. Also I available believe... on Binance under the BTC pair. Thank you. So Binance... And then it is on Coinbase regular if you want to pay those ridiculous fees. Sometimes, hey, sometimes you got to bite the bullet. Okay, let me put this up. So that is it. So anything else, gentlemen, before we go? Thank you for watching. Not financial <laughs> advice, of course. Educational <laughs> entertainment purposes only. But thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. And remember, yeah. uh, below, just sorry, Weston, just below uh, the links for TTC as well as uh, Market Rebellion. And last thing to say, Weston, what was that? I, I was just going to say, I, um, I'm very excited about the, the loop ring. Uh, you know, layer two scaling has been this thing that has been needed for so long. And if, it, if it's really solving that problem, you know, we'll see. Um, 
it's early, but I mean, that would be tremendous for the space yeah. and adoption. So, yeah. yeah. And it's in beta. So just like I said, the very top in yellow, use at your own risk. All right, buddy. Thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.